Hey everyone, Tyson the Subaru Specialist from Subaru Prince George here. Today I'm going to be talking to you about how to use the My Subaru app for the Starlink connected services that's offered on the 2020 and 2021 Subaru models with automatics that aren't base models. So, when we register the vehicle in your name as sold, you're going to get an email from Subaru with the email you've provided with a temporary password. You're going to want to copy it. You're going to want to write it down. It is case and letter sensitive. So if it's a capital, you need to put in a capital. You're going to download the My Subaru app, which I have here on the top left of my screen. You're going to select it. You're going to type in your email in the name at email.com. You're going to paste or type in that password. And then you're going to log in. And it's going to take you through the steps to create a real password as well as to create security questions, a pin for any commands you want it to enter or do. And now I'm going to go into demo mode. So this is what the app looks like on the inside. So the new app is updated. You'll have a fourth option. So you have Subaru Starlink connected services, vehicle status, driver alert settings, and you'll have one for support and support being help. So most of the things that people care about are the connected services. So we click on that, we go into it, and that brings us to this screen with five options. So we've got remote engine start, locate vehicle, lock doors, unlock doors, set off horn and lights. Now the one that most people care about in the north is the remote engine start. So we go into remote engine start, brings up this screen. We wanna create a new engine start setting. So this screen comes up, gives you a bunch of options. You get to select the temperature that you want to set the interior to. It's a little chilly out, so I'm going to set it to 29. You get to set either full manual control or automatic where it does its own thing. I personally like manual. You get to select the runtime. On the new app, there's three, five, or 10 minutes. I select 10. You get to select where you want the airflow. Defroster and feet, we'll say. Now, not every vehicle will have the option to turn on the heated seats from the app. If you have a physical switch for your remote start as opposed to a press button on the legacy or outback, you can't do this. You just have to leave the switches turned on or off. But let's set the driver to full, passenger to minimum. Now, I'm also gonna turn on the heated mirrors, wiper area, and back window. You get to select the fan strength, where you're drawing the air from. Uh, no, I don't want the rear AC on in the ascent. And I go engine start. You get to select if you want a delay. Lots of the time I don't recommend you do a delay, but it is handy to have. If you're gonna be busy for the next 20 minutes, but you're leaving the house in 10, or busy for the next 10 and leaving the house in 20. So no delay, we hit next. Now this is the pin that you've created. So for, I think for this demo mode, set it. Oh, I went through that too fast, my bad. One, two, three, four. And at the very bottom, you can see sending remote engine start. So it goes from your phone to the Subaru satellite to the vehicle and back and it'll tell you what time it started. So I selected 10 minutes and it started at 1022. So it'll shut off at 1032. Very handy, I like it. Now if you decided you wanted to stop it because you're not going out anymore, you go back into the connected services, back into engine remote start and you can hit the same button except it'll be highlighted in red and that will stop the vehicle. We can do locate vehicle, so if you go out shopping, giant shopping mall, you go on a cruise for two weeks and you can't remember which of those pay lots you parked in, you hit locate vehicle, type in your pin, and it brings up the street or the area that you're on. It's a pretty accurate map. I like it. I used it with customers just to show them how it works. It actually shows them where they are in relation to the dealership. Pretty cool. Go back. Vehicle status. So vehicle health report is like check engine lights, what does it mean? You can set maintenance reminders and you can check service campaigns and recalls. Now vehicle health report, it'll give you your odometer, an estimated distance to empty, your average fuel economy, what your check engine light means, engine oil level, and you can kind of get a little information on it. That way you can decide, hey, I need to pull over, call roadside, get them to take me to the dealership, or if it's something minor, you can continue on your way and get that dealt with next time you're at the dealer. At the bottom, it'll give you your dealership that the vehicle was registered at. You can call them, you can find a dealer if you're not in your hometown or in the town where you bought the vehicle, and you can record a service. And you can record or view the full vehicle health report. So systems are functioning normal, airbag system, ABS. You can check a little bit more. It's very in-depth. The updated app where you actually get access to everything is a little different, but this is a great idea. Figure it out like that. Demo mode, that feature's not available. 
And then driver alert settings. Parents love this. <laughs> I'm sure companies love this as well when they buy a fleet vehicle. But if you have a boundary alert, someone's going to be using your vehicle, you can set it so you get an alert on your phone, either text message or email if your vehicle leaves X area or if it enters X area. You get to choose the size, the shape. I can't adjust the size right now because we're in demo mode, but you can go seven kilometers, you can go five kilometer area. Great if you're trying to keep track of your kids if they're going into a certain area or leaving the area around your house. We've got speed alerts, which I'm sure the company really like, but you get to set the speed that you exceed where you get an alert. So if you hit 120 kilometers an hour, and you're hit and you're going 120 kilometers for a minute, they'll get an alert on their phone. Now, if you're going to pass someone and you hit over 120 and you go back below 120 kilometers within that 30 seconds, you wouldn't get that alert. And then curfew alerts. Now, I had a customer who purchased a vehicle for his daughter and it has the curfew alert. She came in a few days later, asked if there was a way to disable that or if we could disable that for her because I guess that she got caught sneaking out uh, because her parents got a notification on their tablet or their phone or their computer. So curfew alert, couple options. You get to select the day, you get to select the time, you can set additional curfews. There's lots of options. You get to select, select a time zone for it. You can name the setting. Like there, there's lots of options. There are more features in the full app, but this is a great kind of overview of how to use it. If you guys have any questions about any of the functionality, please leave a comment below, uh, message me, whatever works for you guys, I'm here to help. I don't have this in my personal vehicle as I have a 2018, not a 20 or a 21, but this is one of the greatest apps ever. Very user friendly. You can log in on any device. You don't have to have the app downloaded. You can do it through a browser. It's great. So I'm Tyson, the Subaru Specialist from Subaru Prince George. Talk to you guys soon.